Okay, today we're going to talk about a real easy way to. Uh, today we're going to talk about a real easy way to uh, annotate articles that you find on EBSCO. First thing you need to do is uh, go to Chrome. Make sure you have the Chrome browser open. When you're there, you're going to want to go to the Chrome store. Just type in store. Chrome Web Store. You're going to download and look for print friendly and PDF. And after that, you're going to click down here under the extensions. It's yours will say free. I've already downloaded mine. So just click on that free and then click the OK button. And it should present a little extension thing up here in your in your tab, whatever that's called. Um, so you're going to go to your database, EBSCO, and you're going to run a search. I'm just researching the Puff topic, that's National Security Agency and Domestic Surveillance. And then you're going to find an article that you like. This the Surveillance Society one looks pretty good to me. So after you're done with that, and you found your article, you want to annotate it and highlight it online. You're just going to click that thing that we just downloaded, uh, and all of a sudden it comes up in a printer-friendly version. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click Print, but I'm not going to try and print it to the printer. All I'm going to do is click Open PDF and Preview. From there, I have something that I can mark up and highlight. So I click my highlighter here, and I can highlight my text. Maybe I want to tag something. It's telling me it can be edited. That's great. Thank you. Uh, maybe I want to tag something, so I click my annotate button, and then I'm just going to click uh, my add text bar, which is you know right here, and I'm just going to click and type. Uh, maybe right here is the text bar, so I might say good article for con side. Way. explains violations of liberty. Um, it allows me to make circles around words that I think are really important. Think about this too, you guys. Um, another option for you. And ultimately it allows you to save it. Hope this helps. You can save your PowerPoint.